James Henderson, Fund Manager of Henderson Opportunity Trust. Shall we start with where you are finding opportunities in the UK market in 2015? There's a lot of excitement among some of the smaller companies in the UK at the moment. Um, some of these companies have nothing to do with the global economy. They, are, they, are, they can control their own destiny because their products are so unique. The, it was interesting last year that AIM, the AIM market was so weak because investors have become risk averse and this is really throwing up opportunities in that area. Um, some of the ones I uh, mentioned would be some of the university spin-outs. There is real excitement in some of these companies. I believe they will be very good investments in time, yet people aren't paying enough attention to them. And if we try to pay attention to these areas, people aren't, that's where opportunities can be found. So I would highlight AIM and the opportunities on AIM. It's about a third of the portfolio and I think it is a differentiator to other people's portfolios and it could be a real driver of performance over the coming year. Now, the price of the trust has fallen to a discount to net asset value, the NAV. Do you view this as an opportunity for investors? I can't control the share price. I can tell what I'm doing and it's up to the market to determine the premium or discount. Um, I think, why is it fallen to a discount? I, I think investors have become more risk averse. There's been a lot of bad news in the, in the press in recent weeks. Therefore, people want to look for safety. And this is a more cyclical trust. It, there is more risk in it than in some other trusts. But it is taking risk, controlled risk, that can lead to outperformance over time. And I think we, I think people are over-exaggerating some of the problems in the stock market at the moment, and that's the opportunity. And we are running a reasonable level of gearing at 15% geared. Again, this may be concerning investors because um, of their risk-averse nature of some of the investing that's going on. But we're 15% geared because we can see the opportunities that these, some of these companies are going to, we hope, grow strongly in, com in the coming years. In a recent meeting, you were heard saying, air travel is here to stay. What do you mean by this? The aerospace industry is one of the UK's leading industries. The air travel probably grows on the long term at about 3 or 4% faster than GDP. That's a, good, that's a good industry to be in. And the UK has some of the world's leading companies, such as Rolls-Royce, that makes the Trent engine that goes in the 787 and therefore there's a visibility about the potential earnings of these companies because air travel will keep growing over time. So therefore um, it, is a, it's a, it is a great industry for the UK um, and it will be, I believe, with us and growing over the next 10, 20 years. Now the trust is a true all cap, it's got a rough one third split between small, mid and large companies. Do you think this is likely to change, stay the same in 2015? Well, as I say, we're seeing a lot of opportunities in small companies. Um, it is geared, so the gearing I really put against the big companies. So we will be looking for opportunities in, in large stocks as well. I like the balance a lot of large, medium and small like that. I think it gives us flexibility. It means that if the market were to run up in the big stocks, we will participate. But if what will really determine the performance in the medium term is the success of some of the smaller company holdings that differentiate the trust from others in the market.